I got more shit. It won't be the same shit over and over again. It's worth every dollar. Whoa, whoa. You got the camera going? Is it recording right now? For what? Yep. Alright, you want me? Yeah, I'll give him a fucking fuck because he's got a camera. Alright? When we started Funk Volume, we were still heavy using the MySpace. At that time, there were probably like 10 million hip hop artist profiles. It's not fast rap for a dollar. <laughs> and I think that shows you right there that hip hop artists are everywhere and everybody wants to do it. I survive temperatures negative 20 degrees. I'm mutated so wicked they call me sick of disease. It's just not possible for everybody to be a rapper. Matter of fact, it's a very small percentage of people that are going to be successful in hip hop. You're buying for people's attention in a time when people's attention spans are getting shorter and shorter. And if you have so many people trying to do this, how do you stand out? How do you be different? I'm gonna take the throne and the queen to compete hands down. I'm gonna let it take it over there. Step up, your piece of burn and done. I made my ticket in less than five minutes. <laughs> Either your music's not good enough, or you're not getting your music in front of the right people. change now and everybody cares funk volumes an independent record label and I think what we've done is we've created a dope environment for artists to come in and make the music they want to make and deliver it straight to their fans with nobody getting involved in the creative process that they don't want to be there you know and when we started we didn't have an outside investor or anybody in the industry we can turn to we had to grind it out ourselves and build it fan by fan. So I used to just sleep on the couch. All the merch was in the back. Niggas was sending out boxes. Swizz was sending out boxes. I'm like, this all independent? This is like the FV Trap House. 15 different shirts, four different trucks. My name is Damien, CEO of Funk Volume. New merchandise, hats, beanies, posters. Everything. The Funk Volume 2012 tour coming up. It's the tour in which everybody's going out. We're doing 44 cities in the U.S. Pretty much doing a circle around the entire country, ending it on November 2nd in L.A. So Hop will be headlining it. Took my headphones, man. I only had no headphones. What up? My name's Hobson. I'm from Panorama City, California. Because Dan gave him somebody who they supposed to give him. Swizz will be there. Right here. My name's Swizz. I'm from the San Fernando Valley. Chefing up my my food container for the road. Dizzy will be there. My name is Dizzy Wright, and I'm from Las Vegas, Nevada. I got my head folks. Jaren will be there. My name is Jaren Benton. I was born and raised in Decatur, Georgia. Four, three, two, one. Hi, I'm Eric Jennings. Here with Action 5 News, and we're still waiting 17 hours later. DJ Hopper will be with us. We're all really hyped on the show tonight. It's going to be live as fuck. My name is DJ Hopper. I'm DJ, beat maker, San Fernando, born and raised. Like, I'm kind of detached from the music world, and I really don't know like what kind of influence I am to other people. When I'm here at the house or in the valley or whatever, you just, Justin, you know, you don't really know who the fuck, you're just a regular ass dude. Then you go, it's like, damn, it's real. Volume 2012! See Funk Volume doing the hottest shit out right now? Living fine without a major deal. We build a fan base that is fucking real. So when I'm on the road, it's like, this is my job. This is my dream. We copped him. It's true support. We're in Detroit, Michigan right now. About to go to a Hobson concert. Are these all people already? Already. What's up? Yo, we came all the way from Atlantic City, New Jersey. We stayed here till 5 a.m. at the train station. Sleeping on the bench. Sleeping on the bench. I'm really taking this independent living shit to the next level. I started getting smarter and smarter and realized that I never needed a record deal in the first place. I had everything I needed. It doesn't have to sound like what's on the radio for people to enjoy it. Major labels, and I'm not saying all of them, you got a lot of old ass niggas running this shit. Don't even know what fucking hip hop is, not even in the culture. 
You're telling me what the fuck I need to do. You can't just be dope. You have to be dope and hustle yourself. Because you can be the dopest artist ever. If you don't hustle yourself, no one will ever hear you. The business portion of the music industry, I was never concerned about that. Because from the jump, I was like, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it my way. The music making is up to the artists to do what they want to do and what they feel. And your fans are the key to everything. They're the ones with the power. Anybody to come out of here, that's pretty amazing. I got this guy and this bitch. He ain't had to pay shit. He just got to get taped. I thought the with the clipboard wasn't shit. So he was a nobody up. But after the show, you know, I got like, you want that? They want to fuck with me. Like Music's not selling the way it used to. The majors used to sell millions of records fairly easy. Like our fans still support what we're doing. Turn it up shirt, my Hobson shirt, my Dizzy Bright sweater, my Fun Volume sweater. Labels don't know who's making moves until you know that artist is getting a million views on a video. And at that point, it's questionable whether they need a label depending on who they have around. Man, who you come to perform here so many times? And then they had a little bootleg ass green room on the side of the stage, it's not even a green room. It's YouTube, not... Facebook, and Twitter are my record deal now. There's a green room now, there's a place to chill now. Oh, how can hit the cover? Now we get a green room. Now we get a green room. Ow! This line for my Ilmar song, that's dope. I consider myself already successful because I got further than I thought I ever would. Oh, they heard Hot was on the BET yeah, yeah. side. Oh, now we get a green room. Let's get a green room now. Oh. This bitch, this nigga, I don't know who the fuck that is. I throw all my stuff out thanks to Trash Work and I can get new clothes every day. Hollywood. Hobson just got a bunch of awesome stuff from Famous. Hey, I got too much. People, people don't have no clothes. You throwing out clothes right after you wear them. If I go to Ohio, if I go to a lot of places in Australia, go to Europe, a lot of people just know who Hobson is instantly. These are the typical, like, fans. Oh, yeah, we like to show his cancer. We oh, want to see Hobson back. What's up, man? I got it! Oh, 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 this time next year, man, it ain't gonna be $20 to see Hobson. <laughs> Soon is a fucking genius for our generation. To this day, it still trips me out. Like, I haven't fully processed that I am what I am. My name is Bear. I've done thousands of shows, worked with hundreds of artists. Literally, literally, I became a fan tonight. That was the best live rap show I've ever seen in my 37 years. Hobson is the truth. Damn, we should have had one of these right here. Look at this motherfucker. Oh! One day. One day. Yo, watch this. We're gonna be fucking rich as a motherfucker by next year. Right now we got nothing. Next year. Right now we broke, you bitch ass nigga. This fool gave me some weed right now, bro. He was like, yo, hop, I heard you roll a blunt in 60 seconds. He pulled out the pack of bloods, handed it to me. Then he takes his shoe off, bro. And he pulls the weed out of the side of his foot. I'm still gonna smoke it. <laughs> I just told him I'm gonna air it out. <coughs> you know what they plan? You know what they plan?
That weed got a bad taste. Dizzy Wright and Moski and DJ Hopper, they all are fucking potheads. They can't go one minute without smoking weed. I got like three blunts, they got it, then they shit right here. Oh, oh my god! god. Oh, I'm so sorry. That was all the fucking weed, yo. Don't move, don't move, bro. I'm just picking up the bigger nugs, nigga. I ain't picking up that little bitty itty. They got all types of different weeds in this bitch, man.